Ted Florendo. This is 8 News Now at 6.30. The Aviators are in the midst of a seven-game homestand with a game against New Orleans tonight. You didn't say baby cakes. I, I love the name of that team. <laughs> let you say um, our <laughs> resident food critic, Ron Futrell, is here now with the latest on the ballpark, hot dogs. It's tonight's Flying High. Baby cakes is a food, isn't it? I should... I should try them, okay, Denise and Kirsten. We like doing these stories right around dinner time. It seems to work better during this hour. And I've joked and said it seems like this is a giant restaurant out there in Summerlin that, oh, by the way, has a ballpark as well. well tonight, we get down to basics and we check out some pretty fine ballpark hot dogs. Fly dog, the signature food of Las Vegas ballpark. that hot dogs with their own theme music uh, now these aren't just hot dogs okay these are fly dogs the creation of chef brian howard now there are four different kinds and these dogs they are unique and created specifically for the ballpark fly dog was a creation between us and howard hughes and las vegas ballpark to give something back to las vegas create a gourmet hot dog that has a wow factor right but has an emotional connection and that nostalgia of baseball and hot dogs but giving it that Vegas factor, you know, creating really fun uh, gourmet ingredients, high-end product, really good quality at a reasonable price. Now there are three locations in the ballpark where you can find the fly dogs. They're ten bucks a piece. Now you can find the standard six-dollar dogs at the ballpark as well. But it's worth giving these guys a shot, okay? Now you got the heater, the jet setter, the Hercules, and the Chicago Smokehouse. Everybody loves the Chicago dog, and I think it's probably one of our best sellers. Uh, we just twisted it a little bit. We do a, uh, a smoked cheddar brat. We call it the Chicago Smokehouse. All right, so it's a smoked cheddar brat. Top it with a curry aioli or curry mayonnaise. Uh, and then all your traditional garnishes you'd find on a Chicago dog. Tomatoes, the green relish, the, you know, the neon sport peppers, uh, and then a poppy seed bun. What do you think? Pretty darn good. <laughs> oh, it hits the spot. Yeah. Oh, the finger looking, finger looking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a bit of a contest going on out there as well to see which of the four fly dogs will sell best throughout the season. We will break into programming when we find out who the winner is. Well, don't think we won't. Okay, also go to our website, 8newsnow.com, and click on the sports section. You will see. An expanded interview with Chef Brian Howard. He's got some interesting things to say about some of the other hot dogs there. Also, I try the Hercules dog and the Web Extra. You won't. You no, know, you can go ahead and miss that. It's way at the end, and it's not that. <laughs> is exciting. it a messy experience? It is a messy. There's a lot of chili <laughs> on top of that. So Ooh, they're getting is. some great chefs. You you interviewed Giada De Laurentiis. Yes. You talked to Mike Miner about his brisket burrito, and now Chef Brian Howard. Brian I mean, Howard. that they're really elevating their game out mm -hmm. there. The ballpark. Oh, that's why I'm saying it's a oh, it's a restaurant. Yeah. That, by the way, has a ballpark. <laughs> and they play baseball. They play baseball out there occasionally too. <laughs> but uh, the Dodgers are there this weekend. Okay. So that's that's going to be interesting. They play yeah. Oklahoma City, but uh, tonight. But beginning Friday, it's one of only. Let's see. Every other year, the Dodgers AAA team will come here. I'm a Dodger oh, okay. fan, so I do want to go out and see what the young Dodgers look like. So. All right. Looking forward to seeing.